Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about Eigenlayer. So Eigenlayer came up on my radar about a few months ago and I've been looking at, into it last last few weeks. I've watched uh, most of the videos on YouTube and read the threads. I'll link all the um, links that I found in the description. So what is um, Eigenlayer? So Eigenlayer, um, there's a few uh, different threads and um, uh, articles written about it. Um, the one of the best ones I found was one by um, Coinbase. So uh, on the website, they say that the restaking collective and here you can see Coinbase's um, few uh, paragraphs regarding it. So in short, you can pause this and read this, but I'll explain it in my own words. So in short, what do Ethereum stakers do? They basically put their ETH, they delegate it or validate um, or they um, uh, validate the uh, network so there's different pools like rocket pool there's uh, lido etc um, so first things first um, eigenlayer is not a liquid staking solution so that's one thing i just wanted to say right off the bat um, secondly um, what do they mean by restaking so the ethereum stakers that are already staking um, there with the ethereum and securing the ethereum network what they can do is opt into uh, new requirements and uh, new parameters to earn additional yield so not only are they securing ethereum um, they'll be able to secure other uh, decentralized that um, decentralized applications or dApps on top of eigenlayer so the way i see this happening in the future is there might be a website or a dashboard where the stakers can see what the parameters are and what the potential yield is and what the slashing requirement is and they can basically opt in uh, to that um, and secure that dApp so they'll be earning their four or five percent apy whatever the apy is on ethereum and also earn additional uh, rewards and also that means if their node uh, misbehaves or is malicious they can get slashed so that's what uh, eigenlayer uh, enables the stakers to do hence what they mean by restaking that you would have to restake with them you would have to set the withdrawal address to um, eigenlayer's uh, smart contracts so that's what it is in terms of the team they have um shriham kanan he's a professor at university of washington and you have calvin that was previously part of compound finance so there's a video i watched by flashbots where they um they have a picture of the team members and if you want to find out more about them and their social media links you can check out um this website which is the link in uh, shriham's uh, twitter he's posted this link and you can see the team members here and um, their social media links so in terms of the roadmap, they've uh, done a video with uh, Bankless recently. Sriham was talking to uh, um, uh, Bankless and he mentioned that they're currently on DevNet. I'll post this link by Olympio in the description. Um, so he, they, he mentioned that they're currently on DevNet and they want to be on Testnet by February, March. So Q1, end of Q1, 2023. And they want to be on Mainnet by May, uh, July time. In terms of the token and in potential airdrops, etc., um, I would say first things first, the only official social media that they have on their website is their Twitter. I will post their Telegram, uh, two, 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 two Telegram channels that I found. I'll uh, post that, but just bear in mind that's uh, unofficial. So any talks about token, just keep that, take that with a grain of salt and definitely airdrop. There's no official news about airdrop. So um, just uh, keep that in mind. Any airdrops that you see, just know that they're complete scams. And um, what I would do is just follow the uh, follow their socials to see and if there's potential in any um, test nets that you can you can interact with that will might make you potentially um, eligible for any rewards coming uh, coming up. So that's what I would say about the token. So there's not much available about it. So hence why there's not much to say about it. In terms of the raises and fundraising, there's a company behind it which is called Layer Labs. On Crunchbase, you can see that they've raised 15.6 million. These are the initial rounds. I'm expecting now that there's more, um, uh, more demand or more interest in Layer Labs and Eigenlayer. I'm guessing that they're gonna do um, another bigger round, but that's just my uh, personal opinion. But in uh, conclusion, I do like Eigenlayer. I think it's a very interesting uh, protocol. I think that it does solve um, some problems that Ethereum currently has, and um, it might add more. 
um, applications and allow applications to secure themselves more faster than you know the traditional older methods. So you see something like Chainlink has you know had its own token and they've had to use their own token to secure their oracles etc. Um, this might be a faster way for new oracles and bridges etc. That can be built on Eigenlayer to secure themselves and. And so that's just my um, uh, thoughts about it. It's really interesting protocol. There's some high caliber people talking about the project. I just want to give a thank you to Log Logical, Olympio and My Bank for their threads and Flash uh, Flashbots, A16Z and Bankless and Epic Center for their videos. I've used all their uh, videos and um, threads for my video to get information about it. I'll link all of them in the description. And in general, if you're trying to research Eigenlayer, just check my descriptions because I've got, I've scoured like Twitter, the Telegram, etc., the unofficial Telegram to find all the links. So it will be a good place for you to start to read all about it, including the links that I haven't mentioned in this video. So I hope you like my video and I'll see you in the next one.